probably probably net a couple of early kills as Link. Yeah, definitely. On stage. That's that's what you're gonna have to leverage for sure in this matchup. Go right into it now. Yeah, and immediately. Yeah, Joe Pond immediately just throwing out those Thunderbolts. I nice. wanted it done. Wanted it done right quick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Joe Pond is not playing games. Okay. <laughs> Parry into the up -beat. And that's the one thing I remember on Lonesome. He likes up at just about any percent. And sometimes that serves him well. Sometimes it could be pretty punishable. Yeah, and that was a great reaction from him because if he waited for that second up down, he probably would have got clipped by it. So. Yeah, I was waiting for it. Mm -hmm. That's usually the trick. You, you parry the first hit, you get hit by the, the fastball second or landing hitbox. Yeah. Barely okay. not making it back. Yeah, and Joe Pong getting that down here. Um, that's the second time, you know, he went for that read and he's like one for two on it, so. Yeah, when you're not at a percent where you're worried about Link's reverse up B killing, you just go, like, diving. Wow. And speaking about early kill percents, and <laughs> Lonesome is laughing. <laughs> he Man, hit him at 70%. He was just like, okay, yeah. you're dead. Yeah, and it, like, wasn't even close. He was just yeah. totally gone. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and he missed, he missed, he missed Thunder Loop. But, um, yeah, right now, Wilson has missed the ledge. Out the bomb just to test the water, the hitboxes. Yeah, pretty much it still seems like they're filling each other out. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see Joe Phone push it a little bit more at the ledge. Like, Link, not the best off the ledge. Pikachu's got a lot of uh, options to cover. Like, if he's sitting there shielding, I don't know what Link can really do to yeah. challenge. Like, if, oh, he rolls on back here out of shield, if he neutral gets up, like, grab. Yeah, and it seems like Joe Pond's kind of letting him off the hook a little bit because he's. He's letting Lonesome get a lot of space, you know, pull out bombs, um, shoot arrows at him, you know, at a distance, and Pikachu's one of those characters kind of, that can kind of mitigate some of that. You yeah. Know, close distance and kind of flush your link a little bit. Oh, I love the thought there. Um, yeah, he's letting Link play. Yeah. Which I thought Pikachu would do a fantastic job at not doing that. Getting the opposite hitbox so he's not going to die just yet. And good. Oh, oh he, he went didn't? for a down B. I don't know. He didn't get the immediate up B. I don't know what happened. Yeah. But... Maybe some snap back, snap back problems. Yeah, He's and uh, real even. Yeah, once I'm getting that um, that snap with the bomb, you know, really sneaky um, punish by him. Uh, Lonesome, I mean, he's getting the combo now, but he's been sloppy with every early percent combo. I haven't seen a, you know, real 50% confirms or anything. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, Link being that heavy kind of loans himself to get comboed like that. So, you, if you can be a li little loose on the Thunder Loops, I mean Lightning Loops, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, but right now, I still think Joe Pond's letting him off the hook a little bit. Like, you know, I understand he's being patient or whatnot. But I think Lonesome checking with the up is, may may is making him play a little timid. Yeah. But he hasn't really been rewarded by the up all that much. Like, that's something you can kind of risk at low to mid percents. Ooh, okay. Finally getting center stage. This is where he kind of needs to push it more than we've seen so far. It's like, Ooh. I have center stage. This is mine. You're not setting up your stuff. You're at either ledge. I'm posting up underneath this platform. Oh, and Lonesome not happy with that. Uh, he went a little bit too low for that. He's a little bit too hungry for it. Mm. But, um, yeah, Joe Pond taking that set. And um, it's really weird. I kind of felt like <laughs> neither players were really that much in control. There were a lot of flubs going on between the yeah. two. Like, I think that was almost a second SD. Yeah, it was pretty much a second SD coming yeah. out from Lonesome. That was like a, a gas, like, it's like there's a gas leak next to both of them. They're not, they're, they're both fuzzy on a lot of stuff. Yeah, something's happening right now. I mean, I don't know what's happening. Hair clean, like the fro. Yeah, man. I remember when he the cut top it. Top heavy dude. Remember when he cut it, I was very, very upset. He, he definitely cut his fro and I grew up. Did he have it bigger? Um, I think it's almost at the biggest that it was before he cut it off. Because I remember when he cut it off, I was really sad. But I think it's probably just even it out. Like, yeah, it's pretty round. Yeah, props to Lonesome on the hair, man. We're going to go to Battlefield. Man. How do you feel about this pick? Very solemn drink from that bottle. Yeah, wait. Yeah, what do you feel? On what, his counter pick. Yeah, what do you feel about this Battlefield pick? Um... Who knows, man? I, my guess is comfort pick over, like, logic. Yeah. Like, he picked this against me in his game two against me as well. I think he just likes the stage. And I can, I honestly get it. When you're just like, ah, it, it feels right. Like, I know it's terrible in this situation, but, like, if it feels good, it feels good. 
Yeah, uh, but I will say, you know, this does have some pluses for him. You know, he will live longer compared to Pikachu on the stage, right? You know, he does yeah. have the weight advantage. Even and if he's gimpable, like, that weight advantage is great. And poking through the platform with his sword and, like, you know, he, you saw before, like, he was poke, using the back air just like a single hit and he's back down on the ground. Yeah. Like, he's able to put on some pressure. Yeah, and he's coming back aggressively back to stage. Because I think, you know, coming from that first game, Joe Pond kind of messing him up on stage. He's like, you know what, might you take a different angle on that. There's that up -y. That upbeat check from last game. And he makes it back. Yeah, I was a little, I was a little afraid for a second. I thought yeah. he messed up. <laughs> Especially with that thunder in the mix. I know if you drop it at the wrong instance, it could drop it in front of you instead of behind you, or you're not planning on it. Yeah, definitely seen those Link Rage clips of um, people dropping the bomb in the other direction. Oh, and he oh, still, that's he what he his, was going for. He kept his jump. I was wondering what he did with the second bomb pole last game, but he just liked it. And he just wanted another bomb in hand and to get back on stage. That's so smart. Just have another option from ledge. Yeah, but Joe Pong covered that option anyway. You know, good on him. Yeah. All right, just some standard up air pressure through the platform. Yeah. Some just kind of making his weather in the storm with shield and worked his way back to center stage. Yeah. And you know, Losum's still finding his way back on the stage. I want to see if um. Jopan's going to use some of that patience, maybe letting Lonesome swing a little bit and then punching him after the swing. Yeah. yeah. You know, Pikachu's really like being uh, trigger-happy, usually. Like oh, yeah. they, some of them can be patient, but there's when you have so many options, you can fly so close to the sun, you you go that close to the sun pretty much every time. It's like, I need to get, I need to hit all the buttons at all the time. Yeah. I was talking to Light one time, and he was telling me about uh, Genesis when everyone was giving advice on how to PD Sam. And Larry comes up to him and oh my. wow, that was actually an Yo. excellent confirm. That was beautiful. Can we can we talk about how that bomb slowly trotted across the stage into hitting Pikachu in the head into explosion, yeah. like in, into Link destroying. <laughs> cover neutral get up. It's just an active hitbox. Oh my god. Oh, that's not gonna connect. Oh, that's gonna be a weird gimp. Yeah, and that's one of those um those false those false fires that you're talking about. Those uh, bombs not really going off the way. Yeah. You it's hard to pay attention to something when you're in the margin. Yeah. I didn't even know there was a weak enough hitbox to do that on a B. Might have been. It might have been. Is it negative? Is it? Is it negative on hit at zero? I'm not sure about that. But the the weak hit it looked like it. That was like a late hit, like four percent hit or something. Oh yeah, definitely not positive. For him. Right now, Joe I'm like kind of. Yeah, he's heating it up. It's like he remembered his Pikachu. <laughs> I am probably top three in the game. <laughs> I could just kind of go. And I like oh. that and I like that aggression coming out from Joe Fun. That's kind of what he's been needing to do. Yeah. He's been playing very like respectful the entire game. And there's a big tier difference here. You don't need to play that respectful. I mean it is working out for him. Like he did win game one, he is in the lead right now, but he's in trouble. Oh, I've never seen that confirmed before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The late hit in air and the upbeat. Yeah, that was um that was, that was back air one. Yeah. Oh, those back air one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looked like Nair to me. Yeah, yeah that yeah, makes a lot of yeah, more sense. Yeah, confirms into things, back air one. He definitely has a back air one into up smash, so that's yeah. something to look out for. That's like the main thing. Well, that was a two or a youngling main. That was my main thing. It's just back air one to like, finally you're dead. Ooh. Barely living. Great DI, though. Oh, and Joe Pond smartly just avoiding that whole situation. Yeah, he's like, no, time. no, no, no. And after <laughs> He's still shaking his head. He's not feeling like I. He's not feeling whatever's going on. I bet he's feeling like neither of them are quite catching up yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like I've seen both of them play. This is like a little bit of softly set between these two. Yeah. Um, but I will say though that th they're both keeping very good composure and keeping calm. But like you know, it, it just didn't look. Didn't look. Joe Pond is very happy about that. He briefly missed that forward air. So very slightly missed that forward air to get punished. Mm. Um, once to kill him. Probably why he was upset. Where do you think they're going to go next game? That's a good question. Oh, I haven't seen the tier yet. That's awesome. Yo, Darum Gar, yo, let's go. Darum Gar, 25 tier. Yeah, okay. All right, they're going town and city. He wants a little bit of room to set up shop, some bigger yes. blast zones, live longer. <laughs> I like it. I agree with it. I'd probably pick the same thing. Yeah. Three, right two, town. one, go! The town's a very funny stage, right? Because, um... It's one of those stages where they have the side platforms very close to the blast zone, and you could do like cheesy things. Like, pretty sure Pikachu can get up air bridges off the side of that platform. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. If any character could do some weird 
BS with that in this game, it would be Pikachu. Yeah. So, but right now, you know, another soul start coming up from these two. Jopan. Ooh, okay, yeah, Jopan yeah. going for those up air bridges, yeah. Yeah. He's still dropping the combos. Mm -hmm. Oh, high call out. That was dangerous. Yeah, and throughout the set, Losen's been calling out um, some of his recoveries now. Like, you know, going high, some of these quick attack approaches. Yeah, that's one thing about Joe Cone is his options from ledge are usually aggressive and can get a little bit predictable. He's just going to, like, full hop or, like, up B from ledge. So if you throw out, like, a big hitbox or, like, think he's going to double jump, you just throw it up there. Ooh, up B's taking the first stock. Yeah, and he needs to watch himself on some of these uh, very hard callouts on Link Shield, especially high percents, because he has that very fast up B on a shield. You could die for it, as you can see. Yeah, man. Yeah, Pikachu's got a couple of safe options that he should be doing instead. I don't know, like a dash attack thrown in there on his shield. Ooh, wow, great nice. call out. Great call out with the thunder, man. He went smirking. He was like, I you deserve got that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people have been jumping into um, to, into each other's shields a lot in this game. And I feel like in this next year, people are going to stop doing that, mm. fortunately. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Jopan, you know, Jopan at the ledge, you know, you know, bringing it together a little bit because he was getting destroyed a little bit in the other two games at the ledge. Yeah, he's actually doing Pikachu stuff. Yeah. It's like his disadvantage is like barely there. We get the up through the up air punish. Oh, he wanted to go for a call out and jumping back for an aggressive option. Yeah, that right bit of back air or down air screwing him up. Solid. Ooh, yeah, and Lonesome, and Lonesome clipping with a lot of these nares. Trying to look for a tech chase punish and coming on aggressively in Jopan, finally punishing him, coming back aggressively to the ledge. And the rare roll on from Jopan instead of a fair or an aggressive option. Oh. I wasn't, sure, <laughs> wasn't sure which way he was facing. That really scared for Lonesome. Oh, oh. oh. Dios mio. Oh, you might die. Oh, oh he, he faked him out. He, he drew the bomb just for the fake out. He saw his jump. Crazy stuff coming from Lonesome. And the up tilt. And the up tilt and the bomb keeping the up tilt um, <laughs> a little bit more active. Like, <laughs> Yeah, he's been really good with that in particular. He's just like, I'm going to throw out this F tilt. It's going to be there a lot longer. And Pikachu is a, a character that just moves in and out of space a lot. So if you just throw something active and killing, it's pretty oh, likely man. to hit him. Yeah, he's in danger of dying right now. He's in <laughs> danger. He's on notice. Oh, great, great roll on coming from Jopan. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, you went for I it. I love the thought, and it was pretty safe too. He didn't get any any real punish on it. Yeah. Oh, and he didn't. That die. situation. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for another one. No, oh, the and he rolled, rolled right in. into it. I don't know if he, he was he buffered in. it or what. Yeah, I don't know. That didn't look like. It didn't. Yeah, he didn't want it. Ooh. Great, something coming out from Joe Pond, man. Um, calling out that roll at the ledge. Yeah, wow. that's unfortunate. Yeah, good stuff by Joe Pond. Yeah. Uh, throwing out that forward smash just for security, and it worked out for him.